everyone, this is Beth Cleary and welcome back to my channel. Today I will tell you the 10 reasons why I love living in Ireland. Number one reason is because I married an Irish man. Yes everyone, I fell in love with an Irish man. I met my husband in 2012 and we got married in 2016 and since then I became the happiest person. My husband is such a loving person. He is such a gentleman and very romantic. He never forgets to give me a card or a bouquet of flower during special occasions like our anniversaries, during my birthdays or during Christmas or just any special occasion you can think of. I'm sure my husband will get really embarrassed when he gets to watch this video because he's really shy and a very private person. But this is the main reason why I love living in, in Ireland. It is the main reason why I'm still here in Ireland 19 years onwards. And this is the reason as well why I am such a happy and contented person at the moment. Number two reason why I love living in Ireland are the Irish people themselves. If you are not aware or you haven't met an Irish person before, which I will not believe because Irish people are everywhere. They are like the Filipinos. You can find them anywhere in the globe. But anyway, if you haven't met them before, I will tell you they are one of the kindest, if not the kindest. They are very welcoming. They are friendly and very respectful. So I remember when I first arrived here in Ireland, I was so lonely because I didn't have any of my family. I decided to settle here first before I bring the girls. So one of my friends whom I used to work with, unfortunately, she's passed away already. Her name was Brida Doyle. She invited me over on my first Christmas here to join her family because she knew that I was on, a, on my own and I was so lonely celebrating my first Christmas away from my family. And for them to invite you to their Christmas dinner is such a big deal because Christmas dinner here in Ireland is like family. They only invite their own family, unlike in the Philippines where we invite everyone that we can afford to invite. So that was such a big deal. And that was the first way I was shown the kindness of an Irish person. Another person that had shown me extreme kindness, I must say, was one of my friends as well. I used to work with, but again, unfortunately she had passed away. Her name was Marian Burke. I remember I was going home to the Philippines to have my annual holiday to meet my family in the Philippines again because the girls were still at home. I remember she went out sick for a few months and she had plenty of annual leaves to use. And she said she didn't really want to use them anymore because she had been out sick and she's been at home for a long time. And she realized how important is it for me to spend a lot of time with my family because that was just once a year and you know what she did she donated some of her annual leave to me in order for me to stay longer in the philippines and who would do that no one will do that nowadays so that was one form of extreme kindness that i have experienced here in ireland from an irish person and she didn't expect anything in return. She was just so happy to give me those annual leaves in order for me to stay longer in the Philippines and spend more time, more quality time with my children during those years. Number three reason, and I'm sure this will be a controversial one and a lot of Irish people would object on this one. So my number three reason is because Ireland has such a fantastic weather. 
Yes, guys, I love the weather in Ireland. If you are one like me who had lived in a tropical country like the Philippines, you will appreciate the freshness of the weather here. It's nice to go to a tropical country for a holiday, but to live there is such a nightmare. It's always warm. It could be very, very warm and you get really sweaty. You need to take a shower at least three times a day because you couldn't just stick with the sweat, you know. I know the weather here is always damp and cold. But it never gets to a point where we get the extreme weather, where we get the hurricane, the tornado, or really, really cold winters, or really, really warm summer. It's just always comfortable. Summer here could be a lovely 20 degrees, and it's just comfortable. The highest it could go would be around 25, and then during the winter, it could go as low as minus 5. It did happen in the last few years that we had a big snow, but it only lasted for a few days and everything went back to normal after that. Number four reason. The sceneries in Ireland are just one of the most beautiful and one of the most amazing you could ever see. I remember a few years ago, myself and Dave decided that we will spend our summer holiday just touring around Ireland. And that's the first time I'd seen how beautiful this country is. I was just so astonished. I couldn't believe it. The beauty that I was seeing in my eyes, my jaw literally dropped because of the beauty. So in here, I will show you some of the photos of the places that we have visited during that trip. And I can guarantee to you that these photos cannot justify the beauty that I have seen in person during that trip. Number five reason. There is no snake in Ireland. Guys, I am terrified of snake. Anything that crawls, especially the snake, Oh, I'm just terrified of it. And it gives me so much comfort to know that there's no snake in Ireland. Do you know that Ireland is only one of the handful countries in the world, including New Zealand, Antarctica, Greenland, not to have any population of wild snake? Of course, everyone is suggesting that this is because of St. Patrick, who is the patron saint of Ireland, they said that in 5th century AD, when he was promoting Christianity in Ireland, he got rid of all the snakes. But obviously, the main reason being is that Ireland is just too cold to have snakes. Number six reason is because Ireland is not densely populated. You have space and privacy here. If we are to compare the size of the Philippines and the size of Ireland, Philippines has 300,000 square kilometer approximately of land area, whereas Ireland has 70,000 square kilometer approximately of land area. But there are 100 million people living in the Philippines compared to the less than 5 million people living here in Ireland. It's so easy to find a place where you can be just by yourself. So you're literally just a few minutes drive away from the nearest beach or the nearest park where you can enjoy some peace and quiet for yourself or with your family. Number seven, I love Ireland because of its clean, fresh air and lush green landscapes. This is why Ireland is famous in the world and this is why it's called the Emerald Isle. Obviously, the weather in Ireland supports this kind of surrounding. It promotes growth of grass and for it to thrive all year round. It also promotes for beautiful trees to just stay green all year round. Number eight reason, the food in Ireland is just of highest quality. Guys, myself and my family, 
we are very passionate with our food. We love eating out and we have tried a lot of restaurants here in Ireland. And I'm telling you, the farm to table is out of this world. I will show you some of the photos of some of the food that we have eaten already in some of the restaurants, very popular restaurants in Ireland. And at the same time, I also love cooking. So it is very important for me and for my family to live in a country where they uh, value their food greatly. The government has an agency that maintains the standard of food in Ireland. And I am telling you, it is well regulated. You can trace the food 100%. And if you go to a butcher today, you will just get the freshest uh, kind of meat, pork, beef, chicken, lamb, name it. And the fact that it is an island, you can get the freshest seafoods as well. Number nine, the education in Ireland is one of the best in the world. Obviously, if you are a parent, you only want to send your children to the best schools so that they can get the best education. The education here in Ireland, in primary and in secondary, is free of charge. It's only when they start going to the university that you have to start paying. But it is still subsidized by the government. And although it is subsidized, it's still expensive. But you are paying for quality. And last but not the least, the number 10 reason why I'm still living in Ireland and why I love living in Ireland is simply because I feel so welcome here. The Irish society, Ireland itself had welcomed me to be a part of their community. I'm an Irish citizen now and I hold an Irish passport. I actually feel offended if somebody asks me where I'm originally from, I would normally answer that I'm from Kelran, thinking that they're asking where I live. But then when I realized that the, what they meant is that where I was born, then I would answer Philippines. Because the fact that I integrated so well, I feel like, guys, I'm a Wexford woman. I'm a real yellow belly. So don't be asking me where I'm from. So that concludes our episode for today. Thank you very much for joining me and for listening to the reasons, to the top 10 reasons why I love living in Ireland and why I will live here for the rest of my life. Again, I would like to take this opportunity to thank everyone that had subscribed in my channel and for all my viewers, do like and subscribe. And I hope that you will always join me and always support my channel. So I will see you again. And thank you very much for watching. Bye!